In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can use New Builder Fort to create a custom database to suit your business. This video series will go step by step through the making of a custom database to suit the needs of a pizzeria. This database will store customer information, menu information, and you will be able to create a docket for customers to show exactly what the customer ordered and how much to charge them. To begin, we will build five fast form tables named customer, size price, menu, docket, and docket underscore SF. For the first table named customer, set the form type to browse and edit. Then build three text inputs, code, name, and email. A number object labeled phone, an additional three text inputs labeled address, suburb, and state, a HTML object labeled map, and finally a text area object labeled delivery notes. Note that each field name is prefixed with cus underscore, associating it to the customer form. The second table named Menu will also have the form type set to Browse and Edit, however include two text inputs labelled Code and Pizza, and a text area object labelled Description. Again, note that each field name is prefixed with Men underscore, associating it to the menu form. The third table named size price will also have the form type set to browse and edit. However, it will include a text input labeled code, a lookup object labeled pizza, a select object labeled size, and a new number object labeled price. The purpose of this table is to link it to the docket so that when the customer wishes to order pizzas, they can select which size. Again, note that each field name is prefixed with sip underscore associating it to the size price form. The fourth table named Docket will have the form type set to browse and edit, however include a new auto number object labelled order number, lookup object labelled customer, a new number object labelled delivery, three text inputs labelled street address, suburb and state, a HTML object labelled map, a subform object labelled order, and a calc object labelled total. And again, note that each field name is prefixed with doc underscore, associating it to the docket form. Finally, the last table will be named docket underscore sf, however this table form type will be set to subform. This table will include a lookup object labelled pizza, a number object labelled size, a new number object labelled price, another number object labelled quantity, a calc object labelled total, and a text input labelled id. ID text input allows you to link the docket subform to the docket form. Doing so makes the docket form neater and more efficient to use. Again, 
Note that each field name is prefixed with doc underscore sf, associating it to the docket subform. And remember that the table name is always lowercase. Now that we have the tables out of the way, next we need to rename the description and the code of the forms so that the forms are simple to identify later on. To do this, head to the Forms tab on the Setup homepage. We need to rearrange the forms that we have made in the user home tab, utilizing the arrange object tools in the settings menu. If you're unsure how to do this, take a moment to visit a separate video we have on our channel on how to rearrange objects. Now we need to make some changes to the formatting of the customer form so that the employees who need to fill out customer information in the database can do so with ease. Begin by resizing the code and phone column. This is done by heading to the settings menu and selecting form properties and changing the width from 250 to 100. After doing this, save and refresh. Next, add a customer by pressing the blue Add tab at the top of the page. Then we need to clean the look of the screen by rearranging the objects. This is important as we want the screen to be functional and easy to use, making sure to save and refresh. Then insert a map. This is done by double clicking the map label and pasting the Google Maps embedding code into the HTML text area located under the HTML tab. This embedding code as seen on screen is a code that allows us to use Google's map system within our custom form. Next, double click on the phone label and change the width from 55 to 110. This allows us to fit the full length of a phone number on the screen, making sure to save and refresh. Now that we've finished the customer form, we can begin by creating a few sample customers to use as we go forward in our video series. Recap the steps of this video. Make all five fast forms. Make sure the table name is lowercase and make sure the label is uppercase. Change the code and description of the form in the form tab. Realign the forms in the menu. Make the customer's form work properly by realigning the objects, pasting the map and resizing the phone field to make the customers. Thanks for watching part one of our pizzeria video series. I hope this video was informative and you have a better understanding of how to use New Builder Ford. Hey, I was reading that.